lovelies welcome back to my channel it's your girl kemi if you're new here thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking to watch this video you're gonna love it okay trust me if you're a returning subscriber you know now you know the love i have for you guys so lately i've just been happy ask me why because I've just been seeing people in the DM saying, yay, guess what? I got my PPR. I got my request for visa mail. And then lately, the one that even topped it all, on the streets of Winnipeg on just on Sunday, I saw someone who was like, I, yeah, that's you now. It's you now. At first, I was like, um, hello, do I know you? <laughs> I was like, yes, it's you. It's you. Ah, you're the YouTuber. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I said, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Your video was really helpful to us when we wanted to come down to Winnipeg. So those things make me happy. I love it when people give feedback. Thank you so much for all the feedbacks. I see them all. Thank you for your comments, right? So because of that, I'm gingered to produce something I call Nigeria to Canada 101. I noticed that I do not really have an explicit video that talks about the process, what you need to do, things you need to do put, to put in place first to give you like a seamless journey down to Canada. So if that is something you want to hear, especially if you're traveling from Lagos, Nigeria, then you're in the right place. Just make sure you relax, okay? Subscribe subscribe drop a comment hit the like button and watch this video to the end okay because trust me you're gonna have some very useful information for you on today's video so welcome back guys in today's video like i said it is tagged nigeria to canada 101 so congratulations you have gotten your request for visa mail i'm so happy for you i was so happy when that mail came in also i was like you know i couldn't contain the joy so i can imagine how you feel you must be so happy and overwhelmed you don't even know what to do first just how i felt i didn't know what to do first i didn't know what to do like i was literally just there i was looking for a moment to the extent that i packed into the day of our travel into the day of our trip i hope you understand what i mean that is as at the morning of our trip if you watch that video you would see that as at that morning my daughter hadn't done her hair i was still packing and all of those things so just so you don't make the same mistakes and then maybe forget some things and then say, oh no i should have taken this then watch this video to the end okay so now like i said congratulations you've gotten your request for visa mail what do you do? Send your passport. Send your passport to the visa office you've chosen, either Accra, you know, there are so many of them, you know, and then the time, of course, you do your research on that, okay? I think maybe that's a talk for another day, okay? Um, the Of course, the visa office have different processing times. Some are faster, some are slower. Do your research on that. I can give tips on that maybe later also, okay? So, but we want to talk about the other parts, the packing parts, okay? So the first thing I want to say is that wait till you get your passport back before you book your ticket yes um even from i've read story you know i read the story of a family right a family of i think five who sent their passports to their visa office and upon they already booked their tickets you know they were ready to travel that once our passports arrive on wednesday we are traveling on friday lo and behold the passport arrived and they had four passports instead of five passports yes those things happen mistakes happen right Yes, no one prays that such mistakes should happen, but then they are human. Okay, so they had to um, start running around, started, had to book another flight ticket, had to pay extra money. That was a whole lot of mess, right? So I would advise wait till you get your passport back before you book your flight ticket. So congratulations. Yes, now you've gotten your passport back, right? The next thing you need to do is to book your flight ticket. Now, what are the tips for booking your, booking your flight ticket? Flight tickets vary. The price varies. At this point, you need to sit down and do like a very thorough, like I mean a thorough research. What I mean by thorough research, you need to compare prices, compare the headlines. KLM flies to Canada. Air, um, sorry, Air France flies to Canada. Um, Ethiopian Airlines flies to Canada. Those are the three I'm very aware of that I'm sure of that flies to Canada, right? Now, you want to compare the prices. I would advise that you check the prices on some of the booking agencies like the Wakanao, the Travel Stats. So, you hear my point, like, 
check for the check on the travel agencies those people because some of them also have like some plans for you like um lounge plans um care plans at the airport and all of those kind of things so compare the prices and compare the price on the official website because sometimes the prices vary sometimes they are lower sometimes they're higher you want to compare the prices of the flight ticket now i'm going to talk about three or four things that determines the price of the tickets the price of the flights <laughs> yes so the first thing is how close your travel date is say for example you want to travel in a week time and you want to book your tickets today of course you're going to spend more on flight tickets so try to space out your travel time try to buy your ticket ahead of time um of where you want to travel and you observe that the price is actually different another very important tip for getting a lower price ticket is buying tickets to fly on weekdays yes the price ticket the flight tickets for mondays tuesdays wednesdays are cheaper than thursdays in most cases are cheaper than flight tickets for friday saturday sunday i can't explain why i believe they because uh, it is believed that people travel more on weekends so um you can also do that research and compare right on monday tuesday wednesday you find out that they believe more um, lesser people are traveling on those days so the flight tickets are lower another time when the flight tickets are lower are winter winter period um november december january the flight tickets are extremely low and i know someone who also traveled on new year's eve because that day they believe no one is traveling on new year's eve right so the ticket was ridiculously cheap on say christmas day those kind of things okay so you want to book your book your flight tickets at those times of the year summer we traveled in summer and i can tell you that the flights was expensive summer they believe people are you know coming this way people are coming to canada for summer holidays or people are traveling so the price tickets at those times are what they are usually more expensive so if you know you are not in a hurry to travel i also advise you book your flight tickets to travel at the later time of the year or like i said in the winter period hope that helps okay speaking of flights another thing you want to consider or another thing you want to check is to be sure that the flights you have booked accept um some kind of bags yes because i know klm for example does not accept some ghana must go you know the very common ghana must go bag i'm going to link here this kind of bag they don't accept it so you want to make sure that you buy a bag that is you know um acceptable i'm going to link the kind of bag we used also here so you can compare the difference right so do your research be sure that they accept the kind of bag you are you or check to be sure the kind of bags they don't accept before you buy your bags i hope you understand my point so that way you don't have some issues at the airport because trust me if you are traveling from a place like the international airport in lagos nigeria hmm they are going to stress you. So just to remove that stress from your list of stresses that you are still going to face at the airport, remove kind type of back stress from it, okay? Because you don't want to be stressed on that date. That's like going to be a very stressful journey. It's just going to spoil your day and ruin the fun in the traveling experience, right? So make sure you check that off your list. So now let's go to buying your bags. Yes, buying bags, travel bags. I would advise you go for lightweight bags. I say lightweight bags because um, suitcases, briefcases, I understand that, yes, I have arrived. I want to get one of the most beautiful suitcases, but trust me, no one is looking at you. You don't really need it. You can dress really well, dress good. Speaking of dressing good, we're coming to that, okay? Yes, so, but back to the bags. Get lightweight bags that weigh less than a kg because you have a location of 23 kg 223 kg and one hand luggage of i think 12 kg okay so you want to make sure that you maximize all of your space so you are not leaving some of your loved possessions out okay so instead of going for suitcases that already weigh like four five kgs and then you're reducing the space just go for lightweight um, bags some of those lightweight bags have um wheels underneath them so you can roll them around in the airport because trust me those airports are huge right those airports are huge we try we fly Air France and our first layover was in Paris the airport was huge like it was a huge very big distance imagine having to of course in most cases your bags don't even come but let's say your hand luggage you're having to and then you have kids you have to drag kids along with you then please take that off the list by just getting bags that have or hand luggage that have wheels okay i hope you understand my point just 
try to go for lightweight bags bags that are sturdy strong because the way these people throw bags eh i was i remember uh at one of the body i can't remember where now i think it was at in air canada we're going for our last um uh, flight right and i saw them throwing bags i was like what this is what happens to our bags you know i've been hearing it but this one i saw it live i saw someone you know trying to throw the bag and i was like no imagine and i could also tell from some of the things i came with right you know i said i came with pots and some of my pawns had dents of course the cover the high on part had dents so you know because you could tell not nothing broke though because i padded them well with newspapers and clothes and all of that you know but my point is that they rough and do those bags so you should go for bags that are sturdy that are strong that no matter the form of manhandling they won't tear okay and also another thing you want to take note of in bags is that they are bags that can withstand all of the pressure i think i already mentioned that that can withstand all of that pressure now speaking of packing you need to create a list guys you need to have a list so for me i created a list for myself i created a list for my husband i created a list for my daughter now i had two separate lists list of things we needed to buy for each person i needed to buy for each person things of list of things special things that we needed to pack so once you're buying you're ticking dropping the bag once you're buying, you're checking, you're dropping it back, and you're crossing it off your list. That way, you're not forgetting anything because it is very easy for you to forget things and you need to start early. That is one of the things I did not do. I didn't start early. I didn't start packing until maybe a week before travel. I was just overwhelmed. I guess I was happy. Maybe I should say I was too happy to the extent I was like, um, is it not just packing? You know, I've never done this kind of move before in my life. I was just so relaxed and I don't know where this relaxed um, mood came from, but I was really very relaxed and then I didn't go pack. So my point is that you need to start packing early. You can start packing three weeks before. There's nothing wrong in that, especially your foodstuffs. Make sure they are dried, well dried, well packaged. Speaking of package, you need to make sure that your foodstuffs are well sealed and labeled. Yes, you need to seal them by investing big ziplock uh, zip bags, right? That have those seal. You have to seal them and then also, you know, try to wrap some um, cello tape around it just to make sure that it is sealed and you don't have a spill. You don't want to have a spill in your bag. You don't want to have maybe your um, yam flour, say, spilling all over. You can imagine the kind of mess that's going to be. If you are traveling with palm oil, you don't want to have your palm oil spilling all over your bag. So you have to wrap those things, package them really tight and well and dried. Make sure if you are going with food items, you don't have weevils, you don't have, yeah, weevils in your food items. You don't have those hands or anything like that. That can easily flag your bags. You know, they have the service dogs, you know, that sniff the bags and all of that. So you want to make sure you pack it to the extent that the smell doesn't, um, cover the whole place doesn't um take over the whole place i hope you understand what i'm saying right so i think that's majorly what you need to know about packing make sure you start packing heli move your bags out of the room move it somewhere close to the door so that way you have this sense of oh yes i'm getting somewhere i'm doing something right things are living you know the room is getting lighter because if you don't do that you just feel you might start to panic and say oh no i've not picked this oh no i've not done that like i said tick it up the list put it in the bag and most importantly buy a luggage skill <laughs> one of the one thing that can stress your journey and can ruin the experience for you is having issues at the airport and one of the things that can give you issues at the airport is your excess luggage is having excess luggage so as you're packing as you put some things away make sure that it doesn't give it an allowance of say um 0.5 kg so once you get to 22.5 kg, zip up the bag. Or once you get to exactly 23 kg, zip up the bag and make sure you're not hiding anything again. Um, they would most likely just let you go if your bag goes just a little above 23 kg, maybe 23.5, 24 kg. I know one of our bags was 24 kg and we were let go, right? Some of them may be nice, that nice. If you, you know now, guys, you know, if, especially if you are traveling from Lagos, Nigeria, they may be nice. So when you start to get to like 26, 27 kg, you start then or 20 29 30 kg is either you remove things or you pay for excess luggage and guys excess luggage is not cheap it is really expensive you really don't want to do that okay it's best you either cargo those things you extra things you have 
or you know just make sure that you stay within the limit okay hope that on answers the i think mo that's most of the things you need to take note of regarding your luggage also let's talk about hand luggage now in your hand luggage you want to have some things to you know to munch on you want to have snacks so these are the things you want to have in your hand luggage if you're traveling with kids make sure you have snack for your kids one thing we did right in our trip right is that we had a whole lot of munchies in fact i said it before my husband told me especially to fry chicken so i fried chicken i fried turkey i fried it was dry and that sustained us throughout the journey because we just thought um you know what we have to enjoy the trip as in guys this trip is just if you're traveling either as a student or as a permanent resident you just want to enjoy the journey you don't want to so we had fried chicken fried turkey i had chips i had for my daughter cheese ball yeah we couldn't go with juices but i had milk and milo powder so that i could make tea on the trip guys we we enjoyed the trip it was a fun trip we had chicken we had turkey we had you know we just kept enjoying ourselves so if you know you're traveling with kids pack their foods they allow hair friends for example i know you know gave preference to they really loved kids i don't know what it is called but i know they took care of kids right if you know you if you say you have a kid you want hot water they will give you you want these they'll give you and all of that so just make sure you pack their cereals toddlers they have cereals pack their cereals if you have a tab there's even where they can watch this thing on the flight so just make sure that they are really comfortable another thing you want to pack as a lady you want to pack extra underwears put your toothbrush and toothpaste in your hand luggage put your face cream in your hand luggage put extra um sanitary pad in your hand luggage you know how those things now hygiene products because you want to be feeling fresh and fly you don't want to be so all smelly and all you know what i mean this is not to you know but just so you enjoy the trip also and then every member of the family gets to enjoy the trip i hope you understand me okay yeah at this point guys please don't forget to like this video in fact at the moment as a matter of fact i'm going to give you guys one second click the thumbs up Amazing. thank you all right so um the next thing i want to talk about is dressing guys you want to dress comfortable you don't want to dress so um tight up and wear uh something really tight and wear belt and wear no it's not necessary you don't need it you can be free and stylish you know so for me i think i wore a jean and a top just be comfortable guys because it's a long trip it's a long journey you don't want to wear something tight and then you're not sitting comfortable and then you're trying to adjust in the airplane and then your shoes are tight you don't need all of that you still have time to have all that fun and enjoy yourself for this trip just make sure you're comfortable make sure the kids are comfortable don't wear something tight at all because even at the airport guys you are going to be doing a whole lot of remove your belt remove your shoe remove your so just wear something if you can wear crocs wear crocs wear something stylish yet easy to you know for ladies you can wear flats it's easy for you to wear flats but if you wear sneakers and you have to untie shoelaces and tie shoelaces although it's just in nigeria that they do all these um remove your shoes i don't think we didn't remove the shoes in outside nigeria yes i guess the technology is a bit different there they have they could literally scan you from head to toe, right? It was just the only thing you needed to put away was your phones, I think, keys. Like it was a lot easier. It was that's just it was a lot easier. The stress is in Nigerian airports. Once you leave Nigerian airports, every other airport is a bit easy. But just like I said, you want the journey, you don't want Nigerian airport to ruin your mood. You don't want to forget things, you don't want to forget your passport on their table very important you don't want to forget something somewhere where you shouldn't forget it because they are they're stressing you out so you want to be calm and one of those things that can make you calm is just make yourself comfortable um don't wear all unnecessary jewelries i want to you know because then you have to start removing and then putting it back up you know just make life easier for yourself okay <laughs> all right also if you know you are traveling during fall we're still speaking of clothing now. If you're traveling during fall, during winter, you want to come with um jacket from your home country, from Nigeria. Buy any good jacket you find, one that is really good because 
in most cases the jacket won't really work here but just for the transit process because once you touch down the cold is really it's gonna hit you so much that you mo it may destabilize you so if you have kids keep them up buy your gloves from nigeria buy gloves buy hats buy scarves for your neck buy you know very thick socks you know just make sure you dress comfortable enough till for you to land and then for you to start you know getting your own um warmer clothes okay i hope you understand what i mean make sure that you're not just traveling with something really light even though because it's a change in temperature right even if you are traveling in summer we were traveling in summer and i still felt cold even if you are traveling in summer um you still need to do some sort of adjusting to because you are living a very different um um region to another region so the weather is gonna eat you so just come with a cardigan yes summer is warm here but come with a cardigan just to be sure that you know you're fine okay i hope you understand my point yes yeah, so that is it and then the next thing you need to do is that 72 hours before you travel you need to fill the arrive can because at the port of entry uh the entry process the registration process itself you have to do a self-registration process first before you go to the immigration officers and this is where the arrive can comes in um so because just like what we explained they told us if you know you feel it feel the arrive can to this side if you've not feel the arrive can to this side so um limit your wait period by filling your arrive can before you come down i'm sure you get to know what arrive can is it's an app it's just like a health um, system just to check that um, you've been vaccinated and all of those kind of things. Of course, speaking of vaccination, you have to be fully vaccinated before you come into Canada. That is very important. Um, and you also have to come with your um, vaccination cards. Now, let's go to documents you need to come with. Come with all the documents you have ever worked for in your life. Yes. Just because you're not doing anything with it in Nigeria, there's nothing it's doing over there. So all your certificates, your children's certificates, birth certificate, certificates, sorry, your home birth certificates. If you have copies of your transcripts, come with them just in case you need to study more, especially if you are coming as a permanent resident. Um, come with pictures that are there to you. You know, those very important documents, don't leave them behind. And speaking of documents, one very important document you should not leave behind, at least you want to drive in the first few months, is your driver's license. Yes, I made that mistake. I'm going to make a different video on that. Make sure you come with your driver's license if you have one or if you've been driving in your country okay so finally it's a few days to your travel day your bags have been packed and weighed they're whole 23 kg you've put aside the clothes you want to travel with and they are not tight clothes your bags are all good you don't even need padlocks because even for us so i didn't padlock my bags i know in nigeria people will say oh padlock your bags of course for security reasons so that you know the things that could possibly happen to your bags right so that that doesn't happen we didn't padlock our bags right um if you want to you can padlock your bags okay just make sure that um your bags are neatly packed and like i said all the food tops and food stops are well dried and well packed and put away just to make sure that you don't um uh, have any spillover because that can really be a really um messy issue over there right so you feel your arrive can your flight ticket is ready and good to go you you've sold all the things you need to sell if you're someone who did sell something maybe because you're coming as a permanent resident one very important thing you need to do now a few days before you travel is you need to start visiting your banks yes if you're someone like me who had up to like four bank accounts you need to visit them one by one now this is what you need to do guys the first thing you need to do is that you need to deactivate your sms alert especially if you are coming as a permanent resident you need to deactivate your ussd code um if you have a mobile analog you need to opt for online banking for one of your banks now this is the reason why just in case of course some people want to keep in touch with their nigerian accounts maybe they need to send money back home although there are means to do that right now 
you can choose to choose one of your accounts like i did and make it online and get the token for it now this is why just in case you want to keep having access to your account and say you change your phone some of them you may not be able to have access to that account again because you have changed your phone but online account or online banking gives you access to your account wherever you are in the country so that way you get to have access to your account now another reason why i said you should deactivate sms alerts guys you know now you know those sms charges how they just come they wish happy birthday they send you sms alerts they wish you you know so you want to deactivate sms alerts you know there's um those things that keep coming at the end of the month so deactivate sms alert so they don't even charge you for any unnecessary sms alert that you don't need but now let's talk about ussd codes you want to deactivate ussd codes because um at the end of the day when your mobile number goes out of commission that is for not using it for a very long time um if that mobile number is still attached to your account someone can use that mobile number too if you have money in your account to carry out transactions in your account or even set you up for ussd i hope you understand what i mean so one of the things that i did for all of my accounts was to make sure that i deactivated ussd codes or ussd banking from all of the accounts so that is very important thing you need to do. If you know you have you have a reasonable amount of money in your account and you don't want to lose the money in your account, then I advise you, please deactivate your SSD codes from your account, okay? It's very important to do so. If you know you are coming, your cards are literally useless here. Yeah, I guess your Naira cards are literally useless here. So you can choose to come with them. I would advise you come with them because now for me, I... In the past couple of days i've been getting email alerts that someone was trying to use my card for a transaction i don't know what is happening i don't even know if the card is here or not but then you want to make sure that all your bank you tie up all the loose ends on your bank accounts if you have a change of name to do, do your change of name ensure that your change of names are up to date you know all the necessary things you need to do on your bank accounts like i said get a token from one of your bank accounts so at least you have access to one of your nigerian accounts um you know so that it doesn't go dormant or you don't lose access to one of the accounts so because you don't want to lose your money right so one other way to keep your phone number active especially if you're a student and you know that you might be going back to nigeria very soon is that you can have someone keep sending airtime maybe under that airtime once in a while to your account for me for my hair time line hair tell line i noticed that if someone calls me on my hair tell line um as long as i have airtime because i have airtime on my hair tell line i'm able to pick that call so i'm going to pay i'm also going to be charged for the call and the person is going to be charged for the call so that way it keeps your account or your phone number active for some time if you know you still want to keep having access to it um so i think those are the major things you need to take note of if you're traveling or the things you need to do things you need to check if you're traveling from nigeria to canada so guys if there's anything i have left out or one thing else that you think you want to know about please let me know that i've skipped maybe that skipped my mind or i forgot to talk about it please don't forget to put it in the comment section if it's something i can answer there in the comment section i will answer it in the comment section and if it is something i need to do another video about of course you know i'm glad to do that again okay just don't forget to like okay subscribe turn on your post notification drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think okay thank you so much guys for watching this video to this part um Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you again another time, okay? Bye.